Peggy 16. Iron Harvest is an alternative take on the history of the 1920s. Taking inspiration from this time of industrial change, Iron Harvest fictional states and characters find themselves in the aftermath of the Great War. Huge diesel-fueled machines invented to serve humanity have only lifted warfare to another level, and mankind has had to realize that the war that was supposed to end all wars has ended nothing. The Rusfiat Empire, ruled by Tsar Nikolai, is a huge nation far beyond its zenith. Social injustice has created rising tensions between the different classes, and the Great War nearly tipped the country into chaos and revolution. Only the ongoing conflict with their neighbors Polania and Saxony is keeping the kingdom from falling apart. Some say that there are hidden powers trying to keep the conflict burning. The Rusfiat philosophy of mech construction is to forge metal monsters. Neither aiming for superior speed nor technology, but instead drawing from the rich resources of their giant empire to force their opponents to their knees. But that method of wasteful construction is getting more and more problematic, as the rivalry for these rare goods is one of the reasons for the conflict itself. The SHM-69 SERP best illustrates Rusfiat's philosophy. With heavy armor like this, it's easy to bring knives to a gunfight. It's a blood-curdling sound when these huge sickles crash into each other. Yes, it's slow, and yes, it might take several hits until it comes into striking range, but when that happens, the opponents mostly regret having chosen to go toe-to-toe. Iron Harvest is an alternative take on the history of the 1920s. Taking inspiration from this time of industrial change, Iron Harvest fictional states and characters find themselves in the aftermath of the Great War. Huge diesel-fueled machines invented to serve humanity have only lifted warfare to another level, and mankind has had to realize that the war that was supposed to end all wars has ended nothing. Polania is an agricultural state, far from being a military superpower. It found itself invaded by the massive military forces of its neighbors, Saxony and Rusfiat. Occupied by both, the Polanian government settled for an unfavorable armistice, leaving its population nearly defenseless. The Polanian people, however, are far from giving up the fight for their homeland. On the brink of defeat, a growing resistance was just waiting for the right hero to lead them to victory. The Polanian rebels are split into several resistance cells and are fighting an unconventional war against the heavily armed forces occupying their homelands. This leads to very special troop characteristics. The Polanian mech lineup shows significant differences compared to the enemy troops. Having neither the technology to equip them with superior weaponry, nor the necessary resources to give them heavy armor, the Polanian troops specialize in speed when entering the battlefield. With its long legs and relatively light frame, the PZM-7 Smiley is one of the quickest mechs in the game. Whilst reconnaissance is the first and foremost aspect of this unit, it is equipped with a high-range cannon, perfect for taking out damaged enemy units from afar. If the Smiley finds himself in the undesirable situation of close combat, the engineers have equipped him with one.